So this question is asking us how many different cycles are there from C in the directed graph at the right. And basically that means that we're going to start from vertex C and see how many paths we can take to get back to C. And since it doesn't specify the path length, we can literally have a path length of zero. So we can just be from C to C and that would count as a valid path. So uh, we're going to start from C and we're going to walk through each of the available steps in this graph and see whether that leads us back to C or not. And I don't really know how to do this with matrices or even if there is a way to do it with matrices. If someone does know, please let me know in the comments because this can get a little tedious. So again, like I said before, you can have a path length of zero. So you can just go from C to C and that would be our first path or first cycle rather. So uh, we can see that we, if we start from C and go to B and go back to C, that would also be another valid cycle. So that would be our second one, C, B, C. Let's see if there are any other ones going from C to B. So from C to B, uh, it looks like we can't go anywhere else from B. So I guess that's our only um, path from C to B to C. And then let's try going from C to A. So from A, we can go back to A, but that actually isn't counted as one of the cycles because you can only go to each vertex once. So we can't take this path. Uh, we can go to B, however, and go back to C. So that would be another one, C, A, B, C. If we go from C to A again and try to um, go to the vertex E, well, the only place that we can go from E is D, and D seems to be a dead end because there are no arrows pointing out from D. So that's not an available option. So I think we tried almost everything from C to A. We just haven't tried from C to A to D. But like I said before, D is a dead end, so that can't be an available option for us. Uh, we can go from C to E to C, so that's a nice short little cycle, C, E, C. And there is one more path, and let's try to find it. Oh, actually we have C to A to E to C, because we just didn't try going from C to A to E, I believe, and then going back to C. So that's our fifth one. So now that you know a little bit more about graphs and how to solve a graph theory uh, question on ACSL, I hope that if you do find a way to do this with matrices, that would be very helpful just to eliminate any possible sources of error.